why am I still reporting it despite not putting in more capital because uh, I guess for every uh, read that I invest there's always uh, interesting lessons to learn from each read uh, my read business results were out took some time to interpret it and I'm giving my inputs on the first one Suntech read um, so if you're watching this video for the first time, uh, my name is Min An, I'm a REITs investor. I'm building my parents' retirement portfolio, retirement portfolio via REITs. Currently, uh, I am a Suntech, CICT and Capital DC uh, shareholder. Uh, please practice in the band thinking. Last evening, went to relook at uh, Suntech and why am I still reporting it despite not putting in more capital because uh, I guess for every uh, read that I invest there's always uh, interesting lessons to learn from each read so basically for Suntech uh, what I would have seen is uh, it has three geographies one Singapore, two Australia, three is UK and um, the initial, oh, I always want to remind myself of the initial reasons of uh, buying uh, Suntech Read, uh, which is basically for its Singapore assets. So uh, when you want to buy a Read for dividend, uh, though I know yes, we want to buy it for the dividend, uh, but please also understand what is the process and the initial reason that you got in, such that uh, when we want to exit that particular Read, uh, be it whether selling it, uh, at least you know the reasons if they are not there anymore it, it simplifies decision making so for myself uh, I'm not putting in more capital in the Suntech read but I just want to report that I learned uh, Singapore assets is still their mainstay uh, definitely the, looking at the, how the Australia and the UK portfolio uh, I saw declining revenues so that also gives me an, an insight into how uh, the management is running it right so uh, the end of this video uh, I just want to make sure that uh, just want to make sure that you understand your initial reasons of buying any reads right such that if you know whether you need to put in more money or when you want to put in uh, or you want to sell it away at least it makes the decision making even much simpler Though I know that dividend yields are like for long term, but please also don't hold a read that is deteriorating in the long term. So that's what I wanted to record down in this video. Uh, let me know your biggest takeaway and I'll see you in the next one.